exciting. Woo! Uh, it's <laughs> great to see. This is huge. I'm just going to hold on to this okay. for, Go for a little bit. Uh, uh, it is being deal. called the biggest <laughs> upset in uh, UFC history. We'll forget UFC history. Maybe Buster Douglas, Mike Tyson. Ever. ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about that? Uh, Saturday night, Holly Holm went into the ring against, and you should know, this is a Ronda Rousey friendly show. She lives yeah. down yeah. the street. Yeah, she's a friend of ours. She's so come here a lot. However, I'm, yeah. we're so impressed with you. Uh, you left you. the ring as the new Bantamweight champion, and it was a beatdown. We're going to have a clean fight. Touch gloves at this time. Come out ready to do this. It was a beatdown. This is before the kick. Yeah, this was this oh, wow. was just the appetizer. And you know, Rhonda was just un the aura about her unbeatable. She finished all her fights in three seconds and all of that. And suddenly, this happened, and the world of reality came down hard on Rhonda. And uh, congratulations <laughs> to you. Okay. Congratulations. We are Thank you. Oh, you so impressed. Thank you. Didn't see it coming, which I guess silly. Oh, no. Good to so see. has it settled? I don't know if it's actually settled. I don't know if it ever will fully settle. But um, I guess just coming back home, it's and I've replayed it more and more. I'm like, wow, that, that really actually did just happen, you know? Yeah. Um, there's, the immediate feeling is like that immediate relief. Oh, soon, like over. So, yeah. Now, how, how soon did you know that this was your fight? Uh, I felt like I had her timing, but that didn't mean that the fight is yours, you know. Um, I just felt as the fight was going, I'm like, all right, I got her timing, and um, my corner just kept saying, you know, stay focused, Holly, stay focused, because you you let your guard down for a split second, you know, it can be over, especially with someone like Rhonda, who's been able to finish people really quickly. So, um, you know, I never felt like it was just mine until uh, towards the very end, right, right before um, I kicked her. I knew I had rocked her with this straight and thought, you know what, just capitalize right now, but stay clean with it. A lot of people talk about, as you know, as a boxer, when you feel like you're winning, you're a different person than if you don't. Did you have a sense that Rhonda felt like she was losing for the first time? It looked like she was losing. Yeah, for, as a viewer yeah. to us. But I don't know mm -hmm. if she felt that or you felt yeah. that. Yeah. I think uh, it's hard to really know t for me until I go back and watch a fight. I mean, say if it doesn't end in an, you know, early. I always like to go back and watch the fight as an outsider yeah. mm -hmm. and see what it really is like. You know, I think that um, sometimes I'll think I didn't even win around, and then I'll watch it later like, and be like, wow. oh my God, I hit like twice, but <laughs> I really Are remember you? those two hits. I wonder yeah. what it's like when you sit there and watch that. Um, for a lot of people, it's really difficult to see anyone get hit or any, you know, blood and everything. You've grown up with this, you've done this your whole life. When you're watching that, what is going through your mind? Are you desensitized I, to My the stomach feelings? gets worked up, but it doesn't oh, yeah. matter what fight I'm watching. Mm -hmm. If it's a person I'm going to fight and we're watching film, or if it's a fight that's a fight film of mine, I already know the result. I still watch it, and I'm like, my hands get tense, and I get worked up because I'm just like, right there, I should have done this, or I should have done that, and my mind's just going with it. A, a lot was so made, I'm sorry, a lot, a lot was made out of the fact that she, Rhonda, didn't. refused yeah. to mm -hmm. oh, yeah. touch gloves before the fight. You know, those kind of moments are just, um, I think, it, it, to me, it doesn't make a difference mm -hmm. um, one way or the other. And I think one thing that's stuck in my mind that my coach had told me years ago is I kind of had a little spiff at a weigh-ins, which was never, that's just not usually how it goes. Mm -hmm. And um, it was the first time that it was, you know, that we didn't even touch each other, but it was what the first. What happened at the weigh-in? Oh, this way yeah. in was, oh, I, she just was intense, you know, got off the scale and came over for this, this stare down, and I thought, oh, she's, she's ready. Right I set my drink down, like, okay. my rehydrate drink, yeah. I don't yeah, want to spill like, this. Oh, okay, <laughs> I like, this, this is how it's going to go. No, but this is not your personality to <laughs> no. do that. You know, at this particular way in, um, I actually just put my hand over hers, and so when she reached over right there, it, it's it. Yeah. Oh really? Just and so then when she yeah. when she 
fooled with it, it just you know, yeah. So she smacked uh, herself. <laughs> um, you've gotten yes. so much like praise for just the way you've handled yourself and carried yourself yes. after the fight. People have been Thank saying you. you're just a class act and you're so humble and you really are. And you know, forgive me, I don't really follow the sport very much. That's and all right. The only person I know was Ronda Rousey because she always comes and, in. And, yeah. But it really is. It really says Thank a you. lot about you. Thank you so much. It's and your character. Sweet. Can we go back to what you were saying before? So your coach told you. Oh, after so there was I, an emotional moment, he said about a, the fight itself. Yeah, I had someone kind of, you know, do the cutthroat thing, get, you know, my face at weigh-ins a little bit, and I was kind of, you know, just worked up like, you know, are we doing this right now or what? <laughs> <laughs> so, and later I was like, um, long story short, my friend had made this whole thing with a tombstone before the fight to cheer me up. It was at my doorstep, and it was in her car, and she brought it in after... The girl did that, and she. So it was all over the news, and I was like, "Man, I hate when stuff gets like this." And yeah. my coach goes, "Do you think she's gonna try and hit you any harder than she already wanted to try and hit you?" I mean, it's right. a fight. That's what you're yeah. trying to do anyway. It's so, and I'm like, "You're right." Yeah. Speaking about hitting, uh, everybody saw how badly beaten Ronda was. I have followed your career as a boxer, going back Thank to you. beating Mia St. John. Thank and all you. That. You fought a. a French woman named Anne Sophie Muffies. Yes. Who beat the crap out yes, of you? Yes, she did. Uh, <laughs> she laid when me was out. That? Yeah. What happens, I guess. Yeah, that was in 2011. So the there's a question being asked of Rhonda because it, you got the beat down. You were out cold in between uh -huh. the ropes and all of that. Yep. But yet there you came is. back and you defeated her, mm -hmm. a unanimous decision, after yep. this. So it obviously didn't take your spirit out of you. No, and those are breaking moments. Uh, it's a make or break moment. Mm -hmm. And that fight actually, um, in a nutshell, uh, I was winning the first portion of the fight. In the fifth round, she kind of clipped me just right. And I sat down after the fifth and I said, you know, she rung my bell a little bit. And my coach said, well, let's move around. You know, we have rounds on our side. You know, yeah. we still have the rest of the fight. And I didn't listen to that advice. You know, I just kept going forward. And she dropped me in the sixth, wound up knocking me out in the seventh. And those are moments that then you go back and think, man, you know, you, you have self-doubt. There's mind games you play. You battle with your own demons, really, mm -hmm. and your own doubt. And um, there were moments that I could have been broken there. And before I even went out for the press conference that night, I was cut. They would stitched my eye in the back. And I was going out for the press conference. And um, I stayed around for the press conference. Had to swallow my pride a little bit just to go do that. And they asked, he, he pulled me in the back, and he goes, listen, they're going to ask you for a rematch, and you know what you're going to tell them. And I said, what's that, sir? And he goes, yes, Muhammad Ali is a legend. He's been knocked down, and he came back, and he's mm -hmm. a legend. And why am I any different? And if I go into detail about that, I'll start crying. Mm -hmm. But that was a moment for me that I needed. And Different so I never moment. doubted myself from the minute I got out, and I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do this rematch. And I came back stronger, and I avenged my loss. So. And you worked so, so hard. So do you think Ronda's going through that right now? Thinking about a rematch and trying oh, I'm to sure. rebuild we'll find you don't, out. You don't, you don't be on top for that long. And then, you know, I know for me, I thought, if I don't give myself this opportunity to rematch, I, I, it's going to bother me for the rest of my life, yeah. you know. Yeah, we were surprised she showed up at LAX and she had her face covered up. I mean, this is not the Ronda that, no, yeah. that we know. She's so confident and everything. Mm -hmm. and it just seems like her spirit is crushed. Is, there's, there's a building time after that. And... I hate that I've been on the other end of it, but I'll tell you, it was um, a life-changing experience for me. I really learned a lot um, about myself and about other people. Right. Right. You're you're great. Great. <laughs> we are fighter, I, I, what, like, what, what, what did I tell like two you? Different I told them that you, you, they'd be I surprised. I, I know we have to go, but we're going to go a little longer and screw up the time. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, we're going to okay. go. Uh, Sorry. Uh, screw up the time. Sorry. Amy Schumer. You do have Asian yeah. What happened here? <laughs> I know, everybody says that. And I didn't actually know because my I was in Australia, so my phone was kind of all over the place. And um, and then I looked and I was like, oh, that's pretty funny because I really like her. I think she's hilarious. And I was like, it's actually the only tweet that I've actually responded. I like on my Instagram and then I'll like hit tweet and, yeah. you know, kind yeah. of follow with that. But it's like the first actual just written tweet I've done without like Instagram being attached and I was like, oh, way to go, way to go. Bravo, because you look Because people stunning. congratulating Amy for winning. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, you, I see something coming I see in it. the future. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Not, not absolutely. physical, but yeah. something. Yeah. Something coming. Well, why not physical? Well, I mean, hey, okay. Dana White would love it. Hey, not such Amy. a pleasure, Holly. Thank, Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations.
Okay. And I love the fact you had your nails done before the fight and they still look good. I know. Uh, I'm telling you, such a, just a scratch. <laughs> she has a tiny like scratch, tiny right, scratch right, right here. That's all that exists. It's the gauze. Is that even from the fight? There's the belt, yeah. ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. The smell of leather and gold. When we come back, uh, kind of a sports note, Aaron Rodgers is maybe the best quarterback in the NFL. He's lost three straight games. And now some Packer fans are blaming Olivia Munn. This always happens. His girlfriend. We'll talk about that. You know you're looking at a winner, winner. Um, yeah. What did you do to celebrate? Have you celebrated? Well, I feel like I.